Liberty Center has dominated the first two games of the season, outscoring opponents by a combined score of 84 to 14. Yikes. Next up, the Evergreen Vikings. Eric Hobart spent the evening dodging the storm clouds in Liberty Center. Eric. All right, thanks, Dave. On paper, this looked like a pretty good matchup. 2-0 Evergreen at 2-0 Liberty Center. But the Vikings found out pretty quickly these are no paper tigers. Pink Floyd in the Liberty Center student section forming a human wall of breast cancer awareness. The Evergreen defense aware but unable to stop Liberty Center's Sean Westhoven with or without a helmet. Elsie up 21 at the half and pouring on in the third quarter. This 11-yard touchdown makes it 35 to 7 and gives Westhoven 176 yards and three touchdowns and we still have over a quarter of football to play. On the ensuing kickoff, LC coach Rex Lindgren looking to deflate the Vikings calls for an onside kick and it works. Cam Pullman with the recovery. A few plays later, Anthony Riggi takes it in from 12 yards out and it's 42 to 7 Tigers. No one can stop Liberty Center's rushing attack except the almighty, literally, lightning forcing the evacuation of the field. So here's the situation, about five minutes to play in the third quarter, and this is what the stands looks like, the home stands here at Liberty Center. Everybody in the school, as the rain begins to fall and lightning begins to pop in the area, the game not over, but it's over. 42-7 to in the third quarter, Liberty Center dominating, and that means they'll move to 3-0, setting up next week's showdown with league rival Patrick Henry. In Liberty Center, Eric Halbert, 13 ABC Action Sports. Thank you, Eric. Also dealing with the weather last night when Brian met Delta. Golden Bear fans dressed for the party, but the Panthers looking to crash it. Scoreless in the second. Brian's Elijah Bogosian loses the football. Delta's Ethan Edwards recovers. That sets up a Shelton Lilich field goal, and Delta has a 3-0 lead midway through the second quarter. But the Bears come out of hibernation after that. Austin Schimmoller calls his own number for the first TD of the game. Brian leads 34-4. The game Call because of weather. They're going to finish that one up later today, but Brian's certainly in control. Let's go north of the border. Not too far north, though. Chelsea at Bedford. First quarter. Bulldogs back to punt. Snap goes loco. Kicking mules all over it. It's a turnover on downs, and Alec Hullabarger there to cash it in. Number 11 right up the middle for six. Bedford, big win at home. Final score, 53-20. to 20.